this video is going to show you what it looks like from a student perspective when they get assignments that have the submission or Dropbox feature. And then specifically how it works when you're using a Google Doc as part of that assignment. So first thing that that student does, um, in this case, the student's name is Ellie is that you can, is that Ellie logs in and she goes to her class. So this is math skills. And then she finds the assignment that she needs to be working on. So here's the math vocabulary assignment. You know specifically that it's an assignment with that Dropbox feature and it has the little icon with the little page with a pencil on it. So if you select that, um, it has the directions for this. Now this is an assignment using Google Docs where the student had to make a copy of the Google Doc before completing it and then um, turn in the link of the Google Doc in the Dropbox. So here's, if they click on the link, that um, assignment will open up. But also, um, here we'll let's We'll give it a minute to open up in Google Docs. So here's the, the Schoology sample. Um, and the sharing is just uh, to view only. So as the direction said, the student would have to make a copy to be able to complete it. And then based off of the copy that they made, they would take that link and share that link with the teacher as one way that they could do that. So that you need to make sure that you change that, the sharing permissions so that anyone with a link would be able to, to share it so that the teacher can actually see it. But then, and this assignment's already been submitted once, so a, to start out with, if the students never submitted it, it would say submit assignment. This one, it's been submitted once, so it says resubmit assignment. But the box is going to look the same. So here, because I'm using, um, I'm sharing that Google Docs link, I can go to create, and I can type the link in right there. I can also go to this insert box, go to link, and paste it in there as well and just say, okay, this is my math vocabulary. And it's stuck in there. And if I submit it to my teacher, now she's got um, that revision two has been submitted. Now there's another way that I can share a Google Doc assignment too. So if you've watched the video that shows you how you can attach your Google Docs um, assignment or use to your Schoology account, if we go in and we resubmit the assignment, now if I go to resources instead, this is where I can go into my Google Drive as long as I've connected, I connected it first. So if you've not checked that out, make sure that you check out connecting Google Drive to your Schoology account. And then from here, I can select my math vocabulary. So I check the box next to it, I press select, and now it's been submitted it was revision three. So that's a couple different ways that I can um, turn in Google assignments that have used Google Docs using that assignment submission. So of course you can always share it and um, share it through the traditional sharing in Google Docs, but the nice thing about this is it keeps track for a teacher that, okay, I've received an assignment from Ellie, whereas if you didn't get that through Schoology, that kind of tracking, you would have to go into your Google Drive and make sure Ellie turned in her assignment. And every time Ellie turns in a new one, you also get a notification, whereas you don't have to go back and say, okay, did Ellie make those corrections or whatever? You get a notification every time.